What? All right, let's get rid of that. Okay. So, I got a Christmas present for you people. That's right. You thought I had, uh, I was done with you, didn't you? You thought that you wouldn't be here for me for the rest of the year. <laughs> no such luck. No, I got one more left in me for you. This is my Christmas present to you. What we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is my final comparison of the year. The HD 560S versus, can you tell? Yeah, do you know what it is? It's the Bear Dynamics DT900 Pro X. That's right, boys and girls. I got both of them right here, ready for you. We're gonna do a comparison on these, all right. But first of all, you know how it goes. It's the music. All right, and we're back. So let's talk about the specs for these guys. The uh, the Pro X is 48 ohms. It's only 48 ohms, um, and it's 100 decibels, right, for the sensitivity. So it's actually decently loud. Now I would prefer if this was 110. Let me just grab my chair here, and sit my butt down. I would prefer if this was 110, right? That would be loud enough for me. But anything ab above 100 is is good. On here now, the uh, 560S, the decimal for the sensitivity is actually 110. So nice and loud. They can get higher, right? The H6 Pro is 117, 120 ohms to drive this bad boy. Okay, so there are, there are your specs. Um, the build on this is very, very good. They're both very, very good. Okay, so you've got your normal hard plastic, which works very well. It means it makes it very, very light and very, very doable, as long as you don't do anything crazy with it, like smash it on the floor or throw it at the wall or anything crazy like that. So it is a good build. It's a very, very good build, and you will be happy with the build and its durability, as long as you can take care of it. Now, the Pro, um, Pro X, has a better build, a more solid build. Yeah, it's it's really, you've got your hard plastic, but you've also got your metal yokes and metal headband, and this is a brushed metal. You can see the brush marks, very nice. I have to say, guys, this is the nicest, one of the nicest um, Bear Dynamics headsets, headphones that I have used, and I haven't used that many. Before this, there was a couple, no, there was three. That includes the um, Tiger 300R, which I really liked. I liked the way the Tiger 300R looked. Very pretty gamey, but like a, a gamer's headset, headphones, but it, but with a professional look to it. Like, and, and this screams professional. This is very, very professional vibe. Now the H6, uh, I keep saying, the H6 Pro, there's so many headsets, My sometimes my brain just doesn't get into gear. I'll get with it. Okay, boom, let's do this. All right, the 560S. This has got a more of a at-home, casual vibe to it, whereas the Pro X definitely has a more professional vibe to it. And I really like what they've done here. They've got the nice gray pads, and everything else is black. So they, they stand out nice. They look very, very professional. This is what you would take to work with you. And this is more like what you, I mean, you could take this to work with you. You could take this anywhere with you. This, that's the beauty of this. It does fit in pretty much everywhere. But to me, it's more of an at home, casual type of critical listening to music. Whereas this is more take it to work and look cool at work with your celebrity friends making music, you know? Now, um, in terms of the comfort, these are both very comfortable. Yeah, no problems there. There's, this one here is very light. Uh, the, 
the weight on this, I think it's 240. Okay. Yeah, it's 240 grams. Okay. So it's very, very light. That's the beauty of that hard plastic. It's, 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 it's hard, but it's so light. And the Bear Dynamics Pro X is 343 grams. This is without the wire, right? 343. So this got some, it's got a little bit of weight to it. I can handle the weight. Some people might not. I, I can think of a, a couple of friends of mine that, that wouldn't, wouldn't like the weight of this. You know, they, they suffer from headaches and migraines and things like that. They're very sensitive to things that are tight. Now, this is lighter at 240, like I just said, but it has a little bit of a clamping force to it. it there's, I mean, you can you could work it out over time, but a lot of Zennheisers have that clamping force problem. This one here, it, it's not as bad as like say the game the game zeros from Zennheiser uh, or the PC38X from Zennheiser and Drop, but it's it's got a little it, it's 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 snug, but it's bordering on on tight you just have to work it in a little bit this has a clamping force that is just snug it is definitely snug it is not tight it's more like the the epos h6 pro which just gives you a nice snug fit but the pads are a little stiff now these are these have got to be the softest these yeah, these are the softest uh, um, bear pads that i have um, used that i've come across e even softer than the tiger 300r but still Initially, when you put them on, they have a very st stiff feel to them. It's just the way it is. I don't understand it fully, but they do soften up over time, but they just they just feel stiffer. And with these ones here, which are also velour, these are velour, these are velour. They 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 are they're stiff, but softer than this one. And but yet nothing compares to the H6 Pro. That has this is a hybrid, right? It's got the the, um, the synthetic leather on the outside and then whatever this micro suede is uh, here and this is the softest like this out of the three this is the most comfortable when you put it on your head but these are not uncomfortable I just you just need to know that if you suffer from from a sensitivity issue on your head well this is going to be lighter which is good for you but it's also going to be a little bit more clampier and you're going to have to work it in whereas this one's going to have a more snug fit but it's going to be heavier on your head so whatever whatever works for you but the pad at the top is very very soft it comes with a little tab right here now i don't know for a fact that this tab is indeed connected to the pad the headband but people have said that when you pull this it it allows you to take off the, the headband I'm, I'm not going to pull it to find out uh, for me, at the, uh, right now, what it does do is the little orange that is on it gives me an indication as to which one's left and which one's right. Okay, this is, oh look, there's uh, President Barack Obama when he was a little boy. And um, yeah, but very, very soft on the top, hard plastic on there, but very well done. Like, Bear Dynamic, nice name, it's got the Bear Dynamic logo. Uh, it just, it looks really, really good. And then you come down and you get the the, the metal yokes and the exposed wire which is you know traditional for uh for beer dynamics and they've gotten rid of that that ruffly um when you know when the pads come into the cups there's little, little little pleats those things were kind of annoying they've gotten rid of that so this looks nicer without the pleats right and, and if you look at the screws here that are holding on the yoke right they've got the beer dynamic logo like right on the screws that's a nice touch right now this is supposed to be a open back but what this really is is a semi open back definitely not a full open back whereas this is a full open back and you can tell the difference and we'll get into that in a little bit but going down to where the cable is oh by the way this is a um, circular pad as you can tell circular whereas the um, 560s is an oval shape so take that in consideration some people may like the circular some people may like the oval i've always been a fan of the oval and the d shape i'm not a big fan of the circular but it is growing on me it definitely is growing on me the going down to the cable both of them have detachable cables this uses a mini xlr cable which is right here 
very long, very long. I think this is three meters. I think so. I'd, I'd have to check the box. I'll, I will check the box and I'll throw it up on the screen for you. This, I think it's three minutes. But there you go. There's your three pin mini X, XLR, which goes right in here. It's got a little notch that you have to look out for. There's the notch right there. So it doesn't just go in anyway. You got to make sure. And then it has that notch so that it can clip in and stay in. And you don't have to twist it or anything like that. So it comes with, uh, at one end, you have the uh, three and a half millimeter connection. So this will go right into your console, any console, mobile devices. And it gives you the, uh, the, uh, the quarter inch uh, adapter. This is a screw on adapter. Very, very nice. Now it comes with another cord, a longer cord, which I think is like five feet or almost six feet long. And it's the exact same setup. It's a it's a three pin mini, mini XLR with the um, with the quarter inch at the end, and I think I have it here. Yeah, and it does screw off again. There you go. So really nice. And this is obviously you know longer, so it would be you use that for your PC or what have you. It comes with a nice bag as well because. Obviously this is professional, this is studio stuff. You might go from studio to studio, you might go somewhere else and you will take your, your headphones with you. So they give you a bag, which is I'm glad that they thought of that and they, all the documentation and what have you. But yeah, very, very nice professional, well done, done job for Bear Dynamics in here. You, this, is, this is impressive, very impressive. Not so much on the Sennheiser 560. Again, it, it feels like it's, uh, it's meant for home use. Now, this is not the original cable. The, the original cable is in there somewhere. And as you can see, it's like, it's, uh, it's too much. It does have a, a long cable, very long cable, um, but I just use this one right here. It's got that uh, two and a half millimeter connection with the uh, little lock. I, have to, I got this off of Amazon, fits in nice. Because if you're gonna use this for console, you need a shorter cable. Right, so there's a nice, nice cable, and um, yeah, it is detachable. So they're both they're both detachable, and the only thing is is that that one you have to use a mini XLR, and this one you have to use a two and a half with that little locking system that you can find on Amazon. If you want to replace replace the cables. Now the cable for this is is rubber. It's not that janky but it it is it, need, it does need a little bit of straighten out and obviously this one i brought on amazon is just beautiful very very nice but still my second favorite cable of all time is the one that you get with the h6 pro i just i just love that it feels so good this braided cable and then my first favorite cable i mean i'm not talking about cables that aftermarket cables you can get really nice stuff high-end stuff well, of course you can but just like stock cables, are the ones that come with the Cooler Master, right? The Cooler Master headsets have really nice cables. Uh, well, at least they did on the um, the MH751, the MH752, the MH630, which I have down there somewhere, which never worked. Silly, silly, silly headset. Okay, these are meant for studio work. These are meant for critical listening. So this is designed for mixing and mastering and, and, and you know, critical listening. This is designed for, for critical listening. These headphones are tuned to be as neutral as they can be. I listened to a, a bunch of music. I played a bunch of games. I played games on the PC. I played games on the PS5. And what I found was that the the 560s was the most boring of the two this surprisingly being as linear as it is in the base and the sub base the so the midst the base and the sub base i was expecting it to not really have much base but it has decent amount of base the the, the, the sub base extension in here is is very recognizable. It's definitely sub-bass extension. 
it sounds good. This sounds like it doesn't have any bass, even though it obviously does. It just doesn't sound... People say this has more bass, but I'm not hearing it. And, the, and definitely the sub bass is ex, uh, rolls off. Uh, that's Bonnie and Clyde. Check them out. Check them out. Check them out before they died. Bonnie and Clyde. And um, yeah, it rolls off very early. This was a much more enjoyable experience to listen to music. Much more enjoyable. The highs here can be a little gritty, but the highs here are more tamed. I just, this had like a very, the Pro X had a very professional sound. I am not a sound engineer, but listening to music on these, this sounds to me more, like the songs sound like they're more EQ'd, like they've been touched up, like a, a song before it's been mastered, you know, before a sound engineer gets his hands on it and starts taking out all the things that they don't like and then enhancing the things that they do like to convey the the, the, the tone or the message of the song, you know, the, the mastering process. And then when you play a song before and after it's been mastered, you can you can hit this sounds like this, this is what it sounds like when I was listening to I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor. It, you know, you, you hear it, but it, but it sounds like it's touched up on this. Like it's been, like it's been, you know, polished is the word. So I was very surprised. These are not particularly great sounding for gaming. The Pro X sounds more enjoyable than the 560S. It just, the sound is more pleasing to me than this does. But they both have very good imaging. Sometimes certain things happen and they just stand out. And when they stand out, you, you, you notice. There's, you know, like I noticed straight away when I put on the Tiger 300R, how better the imaging was versus the H6 Pro. I noticed how better the imaging was on the 560S over the Tiger 300R. And I just noticed how clear and distinct the imaging was with the Pro X. And I liked it. It's, it's just very cool, man. It's very smooth. Everything it does is very smooth. I don't get that from the 560S. 560S is a little, little, little crazier. You don't notice it until you get, until you compare it to something else. But I do notice that the highs on here can be a little bit gritty. And you don't get, you don't get that on here. This is definitely higher than this. And I prefer the highs on this because it's a little bit more tame. But because the highs on this, I think that's where you get that imaging, right? It, it just, that's the area. Just like the upper mids and the lower treble is where you get the footsteps. That's where you, that's where you have to, you know, when that's elevated in, that, in those areas, the higher mids and the lower treble, that's where you can hear that footsteps. And that's why the H6 Pro um, is so good at that. Because just in that area, that's where it, it excels, right? And this here, these two not so much. But when you get to the highs, uh, low and, and mid and, and upper um, treble, the way the way those things are tuned, it it leads to um, better imaging, right? The spatial acuity is just is there, and you you hear it more. And the sound stage on this is is definitely wider. And I I just had, found myself enjoying music on this more now. When I went to the movies. Rocky 3, at the beginning of Rocky 3, when um, they, they show you the end of Rocky 2 and then Rocky 3 starts and it kicks in with Eye of the Tiger, boom, 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 and that bass is going, it's the Eye of the Tiger. And it sounds very nice on here, but it sounds better on the H6 Pro. And it doesn't sound as great on the 560S. So definitely music wise, I do prefer the 900 Pro X over the 560X. 
And movie-wise, I prefer the Pro X over the five uh, six five sixty S. So it just it just does everything really nice, really really nice. And in terms of gaming, I would choose the nine hundred Pro X over the five sixty because I don't think the five sixty's imaging is that much better. It hasn't, the imaging is great, but I, I heard some stuff in here that I haven't heard before. And this has nice sub bass extension and the music on here just sounds more polished and, and nice. But maybe this, maybe that means that this is better at, at critical listening. Maybe this picks out more of the flaws or something, but I don't, I don't know. That's not an area for really that I should really judge. Cause I'm not in, I'm not a that, uh, professional in that field, but for me, for, for gaming, this just is more enjoyable experience. And the Tiger 300R is a even further uh, enjoyable experience because the bass is more and, and the mids are more scooped out and it just seems like more fun for movies and games, right? I would use that and then I would use this for everything else. So this to me beats over the, the 560X. That's what I'm trying to say. You're gonna pick one, pick this. Now, one thing I, I forgot to mention, the detents on here, they both have detents, but the detents on the 560S are very loose, which I don't like. Whereas the detents on the uh, Pro X are very solid. They do not move. Everything on this is just better built, better built. So let's put that to us aside for a second. And let's bring in the H6 Pro, okay? Which one is better for gaming out of the two? Well, it's the H6 Pro. The H6 Pro is more of a complete package. This is what you should, if, if you want a game, this is what you should be buying. This, I'll tell you why. Because these two benefit from an app. This one needs an app. It's 120 ohms. It, that, that's a lot to drive, so you need an amp to drive this, right? This one here is only 48 ohms, which is not that bad. You can get away with a portable amp, what have you, and uh, it has 100 decibels SPL sensitivity, right? So it is loud. You can plug this directly into controller, and I did. I plug it directly into controller, and I was I was okay with it. I need my things a little bit louder just a little bit, because I have hearing loss. So if you have the hearing loss, then you need things a little bit louder. So just in my one ear, I have hearing loss. And so I need things a little bit louder and this will this will work right into the console with no amp, it's great. But when you put an amp, when you put this in an amp, it does bring out a little bit more of the headset, including the volume level. So you can benefit from an amp from this. This you absolutely need an amp. And this here doesn't need an amp at all. This is 32 ohms. It's 117 decibel sensitivity. You can plug this into anything. It sounds loud no matter what you plug it into. It's great. It's hella comfortable with the with the micro suede. The pads are easy to change. It comes with a flip to mute mic that is an awesome mic. Everybody knows that the Epos H6 Pro mic is an awesome mic. Plus it's detachable, so you can turn this into a pair of headphones. This does everything, including having good imaging and great footsteps and being nice to listen to for music. It does everything well, right? It's an all rounder. This is the definition of a great gaming headset. This is not a gaming headset, but you can use it for gaming because it has some transferable traits. And if you wanted to just use it for gaming, I think um, I would go with better options like the Tiger 300R. But if you wanted to use this for gaming and for other stuff like mixing and mastering or monitoring stuff or what have you, then absolutely, yes, this will be worth it. Until next time.